Hello everyone. Um, it's been a few days since I have gotten out a video. Uh, this is gonna be... Uh, I don't know if this will probably no longer be my last 9.2 um, video. Uh, Elon delayed t version 10 again. It was supposed to be out uh, this Saturday, but um, it is going to be out next Friday, apparently. We'll see if it gets delayed again. Uh, like always, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you coming back and watching my videos. It's kind of amazing that you know, about a thousand of you regularly come back and watch this video. So I really appreciate that. Um, today is going to be a slightly different route. I am going back to my parents, but we're going to take the alternate route to my parents. And, um, we are going to see how that works. It's the route I always cancel every time. We're going to let it, let it go its way. Um, this weekend, actually, I'm going up to West Virginia, so I'm hoping to get a couple videos up in a unique town we haven't been to before. Um, and maybe a little bit of highway driving. The highway's kind of boring, but, you know, we'll see. Let's see how it does right here. It's probably not going to turn on the blinker. I'll turn that on. Maybe it'll learn. Again, it does that turn much better than it used to. Every single time in 9.2, it's been the same way. And I'm going to press the accelerator. Um, it, nope, I'm having to disengage. That went off. Went off the road right there. There are no cars to my left. I'm gonna turn on the blinker. They get to go over. It seems it it, it has to be where it um, changes in between navigating on pilot and full self driving. Cause it, I notice occasionally it will get stuck in full self driving on the highway, and it merges great as long as it's stuck on full self driving. Um, or it doesn't swerve, rather. Sometimes it'll merge too slowly. But um, otherwise, it has to be a way of transition. So version 10 is going to combine the two. And so we're going to see how that works. Um, but yeah, I'll s I guess we're going to keep on recording the highway here. Uh, just to make it a full length video, I'll speed up the highway. Okay, so... As you can see, I canceled the lane change. There are cars coming up on my left, and I'm not going fast enough to get past the car in front of me to not cut off the car on my left. The car needs to know not to turn its blinker on and try and get over. As you can see how fast this car passed me, it's not an appropriate time to get over, and there's more cars going up. Now, if it was me, I would just speed up, get around the truck, get back over. But I went in the car, kind of do its thing, at at worst case, it shouldn't be getting over right now. Okay, so this is an appropriate spot to get over. It needs to get over sooner. Like, that, that's that's my biggest complaint. I know someone commented in the, in the comment section about it's supposed to blink six times legally before you get over. I don't know if that's true. I didn't look it up and I really should. If someone else can confirm if that's actually a legal requirement that you have to blink six times before get, getting over, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. The car already does things the human way, which is not. If that, uh, assuming that it are the rules, that is not how most people drive. Even the quick flip blinker only blinks three times. Um, before it gets over and so it's just it's kind of fresh when it takes so long to get over So I'm canceling that lane change. We're close enough for me that we're not going fast enough that we're going to get around that truck in an appropriate amount of time for where the exit is. That's just going to cause a lot of issues if it tries and passes right here. Though, if we weren't getting off the exit, the traffic behind me on the left is actually far enough back where it would have been an appropriate time to pass. I just don't want to pass here because of how... Um, how close the exit is.
slows down getting off this exit here. Again, way too late to get off that. That was that was worse than previous times. I don't know if it's because I didn't detect my hand on the wheel or something else, but um, it it should have got over sooner. The car behind me had to slow down because my car was slowing down before it got onto the exit. So up here, I will expect to disengage. Well. Actually, I can probably prevent the disengagement. Um, it always messes up on this turn here. I'm gonna can't. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna cancel the turn. It almost. It felt like I had a little hesitation at this light. I've always wondered. One time when I first got traffic light control, it actually um, detected this light incorrectly, um, and saw the green here and kept on trying to go. Hasn't done it since, but um, that is something I'm always worried about at this intersection here. So what it's gonna do here is there's a turn lane on the right. It's gonna try and get in that turn lane and that is not correct. Yep. It's gonna keep on trying it, I bet. That turn lane only turns right, right there. We wanna turn past the light. Nope, nope, so don't do it, stop thinking about it. Version 10, this is what I'm looking for for version 10 to fix. This is a big issue. Every version previously is routing. And based on AI Day, and it has some impressive stuff. I'm hoping it will uh, fix this problem. You can see it's just trying to freak out here. I think maybe it's finally figured out it's not trying to turn right here. So we'll see if that will do it. No. Yeah, tried to get in the turn lane again, which as you can see by the lines ends. So it needs to turn right here. Now turn right onto Thompson Street. Right where that truck turn. There we go. That was pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna manually slow it down here because where that car came out up there and where this truck is going is where I'm going. And the road is really now steep. Turn. I think these lines recent yeah, I think these lines recently got repainted. They didn't have lines last time I did this. Yeah, if I if I um I went faster, it would have bombed it out. Um so it needs to learn to slow for stuff like that. This road, we'll see, I haven't been on 9.2 yet on this road. Um, up here, it would turn the blinker on for no reason. And I suspect it's gonna do the same thing and probably confuse the truck behind me. Right where that car is up on the hill is where it's gonna do it. Just trying to turn on the blinker and no, turn off the blinker. <laughs> As you can see, it's just you're, we're going straight. All these routing and map navigation issues um, plague my area. There's a lot of weird roads, I guess, around here compared to the um, traditional rest of the United States. Well, the newer part of the United States, if you will. So it's good to go into the turn lane, and that's an appropriate um, turn single. And now I'm turn left onto North Main Street. Fresh. Oh, don't turn it! Oh, come on! It just stopped turning. It well, one tried to turn into the Corvette, which I did not want to happen. Uh, two, uh, I just stopped. I just gave up. It is didn't turn anymore um so second disengagement for sure right there but uh actually this is not okay this is a little bit different path um then we got normally they get to my parents so we're actually making a detour first we're not going to my parents straight normally we'd go up this way back in here but um 
actually this road is 35 in here anyway but um yeah we're gonna go here i'm gonna drop something off and then uh then we'll go, go the rest of the normal route from there i have big hopes that version 10 A lot of tar on this road. That's nice. I have to wash the car. Um, I'm, I have big hopes that that version 10 will uh, fix all the routing issues. It'll give me a lot of zero disengagement drives. And this Elon says version 10.1 will be ready for a button release for um, opt-in. If I had to guess, everyone stay off your phones because they're monitoring you with that. And if you don't have monitoring enabled, you will not get the the beta almost certainly. Uh, as well as so they want to make sure you're a safe driver and not looking at your phone constantly um, Or you know getting distracted or any of that stuff. They, they will look at your driving data. I'm sure they did for me uh, Before they allowed me into the beta program. They're not just gonna let anyone of course um, for liability reasons from both parties, but um so I really hope uh, uh, That prevents any abusers uh, from taking advantage of the system This uh, I don't know what they repaved here, but uh, This is causing a lot of issues with the lines on the road and car seats are fine and yeah, It's more so for me. I can't really see the lines on the road um, They've just covered everything up with tar So I have a feeling it's gonna mess up right here Okay, yeah, um, it might have stopped, but it was about to hit the back of that car. Um, so, disengagement degree. Also, just press the camera button. I don't think I did that for the last disengagement. But, um, press, come on. Good acceleration. There you go. That's exactly what I want to see. And right into the, yes, go in that, get in that lane. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go do it. Needs to be have more confidence there getting into this lane. It still isn't all the way in the lane, as you can see. That is, that is an accurate representation of where I am. Okay, now it's starting to straighten out a little bit. Again, right here, I've got to force it into the far left lane. Get over. Get over. Okay. Again, that was a disengagement. It wasn't gonna get. It wasn't gonna get over. Again, for the viewer. Again, I pinned a comment. The left lane is the correct lane. With see where this car is going. This is the, how you're supposed to drive on this road. You. That is not. When the right turn light is only for this uh, turn lane right here. They get into this and it ends right here. You have got to stay in the left lane to get on this road. A lot of people outside of the. Um, outside of this area will constantly take that lane and it causes traffic issues uh, this is where I'm stopping real quick and we'll return you okay we're back everyone so again I don't know if that's clear enough that what I said but the lane I get in is the correct lane to be in okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn out and see if it'll let me enable it there we go. Do it. It's thinking about trying to pass this car. There's no lane change. I'm gonna make it go accelerate quicker so I don't get stuck with this light. Normally I wouldn't bother, but this is a lot higher traffic right now. Okay, I'm not sure what changed. It did that really well. That was one of the only times it's ever done that. It has done it once before, I think. Um, but that time, at the last time, I think it had a follow car. This time it did it great. Um, so I'm not sure what changed there. Maybe the lighting made it like see like a lane line or something. Gonna get over. Okay, disengagement. 
I tried to go back into the lane and that truck beside of me, it would it very potentially could have caused an accident. Um, so, obviously not a great drive. Um, that's obviously a different route from normal, but um, it just it didn't do well tonight. Um, maybe it's because it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, rusty, hasn't it? driven all week. I, I work from home, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, uh, everyone, so I'm not going to record the way back. It's just going to be the boring way back. But um, look forward to some videos in West Virginia. I hope they can at least get two out of that trip, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you have questions for me, as always, let them down below, and I'll glad to uh, see what I can do. Thanks, everyone. Bye.